Hi guys, you're welcome to another exciting episode of Celebrity Q&A with yours truly, Lanzi. Now, it's always amazing to have you join me on this show. As you know, this is where we have interesting, exclusive interviews with your favorite celebrities, basically to help you get to know them better. Now, my guest for today will be introduced just after the break. So my guest for today is an incredible actor, a beautician, an ex-Big Brother Niger housemate, and the able CEO, Prima Donna Beauty, Princess Official. How are you? Hi, Lanzi. Hi, you look so beautiful. <laughs> Thank As you. As usual, yeah, right? Beauty is my job. Yeah. I don't have an option. <laughs> yeah, right? Please tell me about Prima Donna Beauty. Okay. Well, hello to your viewers. I am really, really pleased to be here. I am the CEO of Primadonna Beauty. We are a premium makeup and skincare retail store. Your one-stop shop for everything beauty supplies. Right? Yeah. Did you rehearse that? That, yeah. was, that came out so perfect. It's me. <laughs> right? <laughs> Alright, so what inspired you to go into beauty? Okay, so there's this thing where, you know, the typical African setting, mm -hmm. where you're Obviously, heading one way, but your parents feel you're intelligent, you should be a science doctor. Yes. You know, so I did get a degree in geology, but my first love was definitely beauty, arts, creativity. Mm -hmm. So now that I was old enough to be by myself and make my own decisions, yes. I decided to go back to my first love. You know, just like my mom will always say, Shakara has always been part of my game, <laughs> so why not make money doing it? Then? Yeah, actually. So how did they find it? Were they cool with you? Like, fine, since you've yeah, got to know the geology, you can... Of course, they, they love the fact that I became a woman of my own, my mm -hmm. own boss. And of course, setting up a physical store is not an easy fit. At so all, in, when in they a place that, like Abuja. Yes, at a Demola de Tokumbo, guys. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so when they saw that I did that, they're like, you know, just keep going. This is your path. That's mm -hmm. it. And how has it been? Thus far. Of course, business always has its ups and downs, but I always say it has been great for someone that hasn't been in business for long. The, mm -hmm. the returns are definitely great and um, worth thanking you know my clients for because mm -hmm. for one thing we stand for quality and okay. customer service and i know that my customers relate with that my clients relate with that so Very it keeps important. them coming back mm -hmm. so it makes me know that i'm doing something right for a new business amongst in a in, a, in an industry that is already overcrowded mm -hmm. you know to be able to carve your own niche is really really something spectacular and I always give myself that. Prima Donna that Beauty is yeah. doing great. <laughs> yes. All right. So um, being an entrepreneur that has been able to carve her niche, as mm -hmm. you just said, mm -hmm. um, what, are some, what, what what's the advice you give somebody that is upcoming, like someone that is looking to go into entrepreneurship? Um, what other advice is it that isn't in Google yet? I just want you to know that um, being a, an entrepreneur is not easy. It's not an easy feat and no such success is overnight. Mm -hmm. So um, if you really believe you want to do it, don't let the naysayers talk you out of it. Even if you have friends and you're listening to their advice, learn how to discern what to pick from their advice. Let, discern mm -hmm. a proper advice and a proper shutdown. So you pick the important things out of what they tell you and you move on and you fine tune what you want to do. What you want mm -hmm. to do might not be wrong. You probably just need to find a better way of doing it. Mm -hmm. So I'll say that. All right. So we absolutely loved you back then in Big Brother House. <laughs> I know, right? Uh-huh. Okay. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You know, people say that, but I don't quite agree because... Um, but I'll leave my... Uh, I, I, <laughs> no, 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 no. You can I, express I'll yourself. Leave, no, I, express I'm yourself. I'm over it. Okay. I'm over it or I'm pretending to be, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there's this common misconception about how housemates are being chosen mm -hmm. um, by Big Brother. Yeah. A lot of people think you need to be connected, you need to know somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody to, uh, before getting into the house. Well, um, a lot of people claim there's always the Nigerian factor. Uh, well, I cannot comment on that because I did audition for Big Brother two times. Yes, okay. I would okay. say it to you guys. I auditioned when Tibos um, and Miyonsi was picked from Abuja. Okay. Then I auditioned again in 2018. That's when I got picked. So I tried two times. Some people, Bisola tried like seven times. Seven times, yes. yeah. So, when I heard that, I was like, what? Yeah, so um, I, don't, I wouldn't comment on that. I was picked based on the fact that they wanted me in the house. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you just keep trying if you really want to get into the house. Trust me. 
if it's going to if it's going to work for you it's going to work for you maybe you're trying at the point where because every i would say this every season they have a different theme so they are looking for something different each time if you okay. notice like uh, my mates that went to the house with me we were actually um individuals in the in the corporate world yeah most of you most of most us of were you. in the corporate world so imagine that's what they were looking for they weren't trying to put pick um, actors or singers, no. They were just trying to pick people in the corporate world to put them together in the house and see the madness mm -hmm. that's going to go mm -hmm. on. <laughs> so for each year, they're looking for something different. So it, whenever the Big Brother ad back comes on, just try to look closely at it. Look at the theme for that year and try to, you know, ask yourself, what are they looking for? Mm -hmm. So you try to fine tune yourself to meet that requirement. All right. So, um, looking that you came from a corporate world, yes. was it easy for you finding your way into entertainment? No, it wasn't easy. Um, I've been an, uh, a Buddha person. I live in Abuja, raised okay. here, besides elsewhere. So, the, the, the hub of entertainment is Lagos. And there's always that um, contrast a stereotype of you don't live in Lagos, how are you going to make it work? Yeah. And truly, I don't live in Lagos, so it was easy it work? for me to make it work. But then again, like I said, entrepreneurship has always been my core personality. I like to be the boss. I like to get things done and get things moving. So I, that is like 60% me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The entertainment, yes. I, I love lights, camera, action, mm -hmm. and I'm still doing that. But I just chose like the things I love to do, the things that define me. And so it's been easy. Okay. All my okay. struggles are past. <laughs> all right, all right. So um, when did acting start for you? Okay, the first time I tried acting was in um, 2014, way oh, back. Okay. Um, of course, I finished school, got my geology degree, kept mm -hmm. it at home. Mm -hmm. And then off to Asaba. <laughs> <laughs> you actually went to Asaba? Yes, and then I did my first movie. Um, something game students play. Oh God! How Hilarious. was it? How how was it? Hilarious. What's the experience like? <laughs> it was it was interesting. That's how I knew I needed to find something else for myself besides acting. Yes, I have a passion for it, but sometimes your passion doesn't give you food. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you need to find something that puts food on your table while you are chasing your passion. You know, it's only very few lucky people that make money from their passion as well. Maybe like um. The Bill Gates that have the tech, mm -hmm. you know, and they make money from it, maybe that. But for the rest of us, we also, we have to find a way to balance, you know, our passion with our source of income. Yeah. So, acting was great, first time. I still do it, but it's not like my prerogative. Okay. But I will do more movies, guys. Okay, okay. It's just we're, that COVID we're, we're looking forward to that. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we're looking forward to seeing more movies with Princess yes, in it. Yes, yes, yes. So do you look forward to producing your own movie sometime? Yes, um, I actually have a short, um, a short film coming. Okay. I'm working on it um, with my friends and a few other producers. I'll just leave it at that when the snippet is out. So we don't get to know the title first? Come no, on. No. Aww. If you take away the element of surprise, no, I can't do that. All, all right, all right. I'll all just right. let you know. Just stay tuned to my page. <laughs> all right. So um, having um, been that we have a beautician in the house, can you give us your top five beauty tips? Okay. My top five beauty tips. Okay, I'll go with skincare first. Okay. Um, you know how they say exercise, rest, and sleep? Your beauty sleep is very important. Um, okay, as far as beauty goes, if you're a lady and you like to wear makeup, you never ever go to bed with your makeup on. That is a no-no. It's a rule. Okay. You never go to bed with your makeup on. You make sure you have a good cleanser for your mm -hmm. face and the rest of your body. Make sure you get yourself nice treatments that target... Um, the, the skin issues you're, you're facing at the time, maybe something for sun, an eye care cream, you know, all of that. Drink lots of water, eat lots of fresh vegetables. Mm -hmm. I do that a lot. Take some time to go relax at a spa. If you cannot go to the spa, relax in your house. Okay. Tell yourself it's spa day at home. <laughs> Put on all your body scrub and let it marinate and just look at the mirror and feel beautiful. Wow. Yes. I'm beauty, already yes, beauty, I'm really visualizing it. Beauty is a feeling. Nobody can make you less beautiful than the way you feel you are. Nobody. I love that. What is that one fashion item that princess cannot be caught without? 
one fashion item. Damn, why are you say one though? All right, just mention them. Let me give you like. Okay, daytime, yeah. I can't be caught without my shades. Okay. Sometimes even nighttime. <laughs> are you serious? Yes, yes. Since the house, I just, just like my, my sunglasses complete me. Actually, I think I love sun shades too because it has a way of complementing your yes, beauty. Even it's when such you're not a great dressed like yes, that, yeah. It takes you like the next level. Mm -hmm. um, of course, I always wear a good hair. <laughs> I can see. Yes, that, that is like pronto. Um, I always love a, a nice pair of shoes. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a shoe addict. Okay. Then, of course, the, the little accessories, accessories like wristwatches. And handbags. I mean, I'm just... Uh, You're I just can't. a fashionista, a fashion right? Girl. You're just a fashionista. <laughs> Looking good is good business. You I, know, right? I you can't know. help it. All right, so um, what is the height you intend to take Prima Donna Beauty? Like, what is the biggest you know, standard you want to? You know, somebody talks about Prima Donna Beauty, it's like talking about my first love. Like, my eyes just light up. So, <laughs> <laughs> so um, as far as Prima Donna Beauty goes, Mm -hmm. I had um, my initial inspiration is to become a global enterprise, a global franchise. Um, I was inspired by brands like Sephora okay. and Alta Beauty, and that's the height I want to take Prima Donna Beauty to. I want Prima Donna Beauty to be at least in all the six geopolitical zones. I want um, people in in West, in West Africa and South Africa to be able to buy franchise into hey, Prima Donna man, Beauty. Girl, so hey, we're, man, girl. So we're going big, guys. We're going big. Watch out. I'm open to Watch investors out. as well. <laughs> yeah, right? Yes, because I, I can't do it on my own. I've come to realize that. But as far as dreams, as far as goals, that is the level. Amen. Yay. Amen to that, babes. All right, guys. So I've been right here chilling with Princess. I'm mm -hmm. going on a short break right now, and I'll be right back. Hey guys, you're welcome back. So you we are now onto the game segment of our show, which is usually the most interesting part. Princess, are you ready? I'm trying. I'm bracing myself for it. Okay. <laughs> All right. So the game is um, a true or false game. Okay. You're going to pick up a card. You find the word at one side. Flip to the other page. You see a question. You read it out and tell me if it's true or false. Okay. Yeah. All right. That seems All right. doable. So let's start. Okay. Um. Alright, so the word I have here is music. Okay. And on the flip side, it says Adam Levine, who is also a coach on popular TV talent show The Voice, is the lead singer of British boy band One Direction. Ah. No, Adam is not One Direction. Adam is Maroon 5. Yeah! <laughs> you got that. You're not that bad after all, you see? Don't hit me. All right, next question. Okay, let's see what we have here. So the word says fashion. Okay. All right. That's your space here. Yeah? I hope so. <laughs> Italian designer Prada used to own 9.5% shares in Gucci, but later sold its shares to Louis Vuitton. Oh, damn, this is international. <laughs> wow. Hey, where do I want to fold my hand now? <laughs> Prada, Prada. I didn't know Prada sold something. I'm gonna go for. Just try your luck this time. Yeah, Let's see. I told you I'm not a lucky person, but okay. I'm gonna go for true. Yeah, you ah! see, you see. Okay, I need to. The universe just proved you wrong. I need to put this in my brain. Okay, universe, I'm gonna stop saying that. <laughs> stop saying that. Actually, <laughs> Prada sold its 9.5 percent stake in Gucci to Louis Vuitton for a whooping. 250 million pounds, increasing LV's stake in Gucci to 14.5%. Well, all of that is money, money, money. Yes. <laughs> That's all I hear. <laughs> That's the goals. All right, next one. Um, okay. 
next word is movies um on the flip side it says actor michael b jordan played the role of t'challa in the movie black panther dear universe can i try again <sighs> okay i do know i watched black panther but it's been a, f a while and uh, what am i saying just give the answer <laughs> I would say true. Oh no. What is oh no? I failed. <laughs> yeah, you did. But you see a lucky girl, Sha. Yeah. So oh, it's false goodness. actually. Michael B. Jordan played the role of Killmonger in the movie Black Panther as T'Challa was played by Chadwick Boseman. Oh, so he wasn't T'Challa. Oh, okay, that's fine, guys. That's oh, fine. Oh, oh. I did I, I watched the movie, I enjoyed it. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so next one. Next will be sports. Uh-uh, this is not even my forte. But okay. In 2017, Serena Williams competed and won the Australian Open while she was pregnant. Is it 2017? Has it been that long since she was pregnant? But did she win? No. Nah. Did she so, win? But, so now this question has two. Did she win? It has a two. <laughs> I know that she won an open, uh -huh, but uh -huh. I don't think it's 2017. So, so do you who, want to gamble? Who, who is wrong here? I know that she won an open, yeah. but I don't think it's 2017. But do you know the year she won it? Her baby is not more than a year plus. When did Are she you get married? Are you very sure? I'm not a sister. I can't be very sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, at uh, least you do know that she won something, yeah? Yeah. So are you going for true or false? Is it Australian open even? <laughs> but I'll say true. Hey, she, she got it right. Yeah, you got it again. Okay, but Serena Williams was pregnant when she won her record-breaking 23rd Grand Slam at the Australian Open in 2017. Oh, okay. I guess 2017 feels like the day before yesterday nowadays. <laughs> Time flies, you know. Time does fly. Yeah, that just the way true. it just did fly. For me, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank and you so much, life. Princess, for coming. Thank I really you so much, Lanzi. Thank it was you. fun. Right? Yes. So I hope to have you back sometime. Sometime soon. Okay. We can okay. work something out. <laughs> All right, baby girl. Thank you so much. All right, guys. So that was it for today on Celebrity Q&A. Thank you so much for joining Princess and I. Don't forget to follow us on all our social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Viewer TV NG. You could also follow me personally at Lanzi underscore J. Till I come your way next time. Bye.